<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. We have Irish company Brian from Real Engineering. Good to be here. Fantastic to have him here. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you absolutely should. Brief five second rundown of, of what it's about. And we talk about how awesome engineering is, the effects it has on the world, and why we should all care about it, basically. Bloody fantastic. His videos are incredible. If you've not seen them, you probably have, because they all look a little bit like this. They're absolutely incredible. Brian's from Ireland. He's bought me a flag. First thing on the agenda, this needs to go up. Let's do that. So we got the flag. Here's your bit of steel. Now, naturally, we're gonna make a knife. But first, you need to get your swing and hammer. Get your little used to it. We're not gonna put that in the fire just yet. I'm gonna put a piece of steel in the fire because I am going to give you a little bit of a little uh, demonstration, help guide you through the process of first swing and hammer, making something. Then he's gonna put his piece of steel in the fire. Hopefully, do the. Pointy is the good and awesome -y. I put a piece of steel in the fire there, and we put a simple piece of steel in there because when we heat treat this, we want our uh, we want to be able to walk you through a little bit more about the effects of the heat treatment. Because Brian, Real Engineering, make sure you check him out. Link in the description. Is actually going to be doing a video where he talks about the science behind heat treatment. We want to show you practical effects of that. So that's going to be in tomorrow's episode when we heat treat his knife. Today, however, we got this enormous piece of steel. It's in the fire. Come on, you can't come to the workshop and not use the power hammer. I'm going to run him through how to run it. Hopefully, we're not going to squish any fingers. We're going to draw that bar into a nice piece of flat stock that we can make a, make a nice knife out of. We have forged out this bit of steel like this. It's time to make a knife. What type of knife do you want to make? A big one. A big one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're making a Bowie knife. So Brian, how are you finding it? My wrist is in bits because I'm a weak little man. He may be tired, but he's doing a great job. Not tired. 
<laughs> so Brian has done a great job forging the point there on the knife. We now need to work out how long it is that we want the blade so that we can make an isolation, account for the... No, we're not making it blade that long. We need extra so that we can test it for the heat treating tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe so you can see it. I think we aim for like a 10 inch blade. Sound good? Yeah. We're gonna allow about a half inch in length to account for this stretching out as we do continue forging it. So now, I'm gonna make a mark. So we know where we're gonna start to forge the shoulder for this thing. <laughs> So you'll notice that the taper here on the tip there is actually facing down. It looks weird, but that's the way it should be. Because we're gonna be forging a bevel, think about this. When we forge a bevel, we thin down the edge. What we're doing is we're gonna be stretching it lengthwise. And with the edge along this side here, we increase its length, it's gonna bow up. And so that's gonna allow us to develop that quintessential bowie knife shape there towards the tip, which is exactly what we want. So we keep the taper down while it is that we isolate off our shoulder for our tang. How's your wrist? Uh, painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, black thing is fun. In. From now on, you want to be giving it a little bit of a brush before each heat, just to get the bulk of the scale off. And what we're now going to do, tilt that up about 10 degrees, tilt your hammer over a total of about 20, and you're going to start forging the edge. We work from the very tip of the edge out, and we work nice and methodically the whole way across before turning it over, tilting over, and doing the opposite as to the last pass. Forging in our bevel! So I've been doing a little bit of tinkering around there, just getting those bevels lined up. It's, uh, it's tiring work when you're a little fresh to it. And what I'm now gonna do on his knife is we're gonna come into the vise and the transition between the transition between the tang, where it's held, and where the blade is, I believe it can sometimes be called the choil. Well, that transition rolls over a little bit. I'm gonna get in there with a fuller. <laughs> so I can lock that in the vise. Here we go, you can tighten that for me. Now I'm gonna come in here with a fuller, which is a rounded over chisel type thing, which will just, uh, squeeze that material away I mean that we can get a little bit of a nicer transition into that blade. There we go. That will work. And I'll give it a little tickle here of the anvil to clean it all up. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut her off and we're gonna finish the profile and the shape and the thickness of the tang. Look how cool that blade is looking. You, uh, you said you wanted to make a big knife. Is that a big enough knife? I think it's pretty big, bigger than I was expecting. I was mostly joking. So I made sure to cut it a little bit short. That way I can thin down the tang and get a little bit of a taper in it. It's gonna help with the balance. Come on. When you're brushing, it's a cost benefit between getting the surface clean and still having enough heat to work. So I really don't like to brush too much longer than that, especially because hammering itself often breaks it up a little bit. Right now, we've got most of the taper in the tang forged. We've got a nice profile to it. I'm gonna clean this up, and you notice when I hit the sides here, that also pops the scale a little bit. Got a little bit of a wiggle in there. I'll give her a little straighten. She'll be, uh, she'll be done with the forging. At this stage, there's no point heating it up too much because we want to be slowly decreasing the temperature that we're heating it up to 
size, that's gonna be increasing our grain size, making it difficult to get a good edge. So what I've gone and done is I've turned down the pressure and I've turned down the chokes on these burners. Yeah, I've got kits available, alexsteelblacksmith.com so you can make your own forge. This way I'm dropping the temperature of the forge from, you know, the 13 or 1400 degrees Celsius it was down to more like a thousand and eventually 900. There we go, it's about a thousand degrees, a little, a little cooler. Good opportunity for us to brush it. Still do some light forging where we need it. Straight enough for me. So we're gonna do a little bit of a normalizing cycle. I'm gonna do two of these post forging, help reduce the grain size. We'll let that cool down to air temperature. So while that is cooling down, how did you enjoy blacksmithing for the first time? It was incredible. I actually really liked it. I found it difficult on the old forearm. I do not have the muscle little... ready for that. There's Serious amount of specialized force required in that, but it was it, fun. It takes, it takes some practice to get used to swinging yeah. a hammer, but yeah. uh, I'm pleased that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, don't click off yet. Tell them about your channel and tell them about a video that they should go and watch now that they've discovered who Real Engineering is. Okay, so definitely the best video in relation to this channel that you could watch is The History in Iron and Steel, where I talk about the carbon content of steel and how that has changed over the course of our, the, our discovery of iron and how we went from like picking up meteorites that were the only pure form of iron that we could find and like working up to the industrial revolution where we're using the Bessemer converter to convert huge amounts of iron into steel. It's a cool video. I think it's suited well to this channel and it will be a natural perfect progression for the next video that I do on heat treatment of steel. Outstanding. That's, that's pretty, that's a perfect video for you to watch to get addicted to his channel and the amazing things he produces. Make sure you hit subscribe to it. Great fun having you here. Thank you. We're gonna make another fun video tomorrow as we finish off this Bowie knife and we're gonna do something a little extra with that. We're gonna be talking about heat treating in a little bit more detail than I've talked about before. I'll show you the practical side of it. So make sure you subscribe here if you're new also. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.